Hello beautiful people, I'm so happy to see you here and I have one simple question for you. Have you ever thought that your outfits are a bit boring, that something is missing in your everyday style? Maybe the answer is just add some colors. Recently, I uploaded a short video on my platform, on my social media platforms, showing almost the same outfit using my colors. And the result was amazing. Just feel the difference. I'm not telling you that this is the only way out, but maybe this will work for you. The first and the most important tool for everybody who is trying to wear a color is a color will just google it upload it to your gadgets have it somewhere in your pocket because this is a game changer so looking at this color wheel you might know that there are four major color schemes and we are talking about analogous color combination so today's video is all about analogous color combination for me i think this is the most pleasing and the most quiet and the most, I don't know, positive and harmonious and cohesive color combination. So what is analogous color combination? Those are two, maybe sometimes three colors that sit close to each other in a color wheel. For example, green and yellow, purple and red, uh, blue and green. So there are many, many options out there. And do you know why it is considered the most pleasing color combination? Okay, maybe one of the most pleasing, the most pleasing color combination, because nature uses it everywhere. So imagine green leaves and blue sky. Fall leaves, yellow plus green, or most of the flowers out there. It's all about analogous color combination. These colors are considered to have a close relationship and when used next to each other could produce a pleasing harmony. Many artists would say that this is the most appealing color combination. Look at the paintings of Claude Manet, for example. His work is all about playing with analogous color combinations and we are here to learn how to produce it, how to copy it and create the same analogous harmony in your everyday style. I will show you how. It's really, really easy if you understand what you are doing. Just follow my formulas. Outfit formula number one. So we have here two analogous colors, purple and blue. Notice that there is no high contrast between those two colors. For example, I'm showing you my outfit from the previous video about complementary colors and feel the difference. By the way, if you have missed that video about complementary colors, please watch it because only after understanding all the differences between all the color schemes out there, you will understand how to choose colors correctly. Complementary colors, harsh, aggressive colors. And that's why we have to be very careful with choosing the pieces for creating this color combination. And analogous color schemes, pleasing and calming. This is just a simple example of me wearing analogous color scheme, blue and purple. But let's see the outfit formula number two. An interesting thing about colors is that the harmony between colors seems to increase as they get lighter. This is because there is less contrast between colors in a high key. When you combine an analogous colors with a high key, you can often produce a very pleasing harmony of colors. This can be demonstrated using Claude Monet's, again, paintings of water lilies. 
So what is a high key color combination? So this is a color combination when we have two, three, whatever colors, but all of them are in a lighter version. So you can see only pastel colors, only baby colors in one picture, in one photography, in one outfit. So this is what we call a high key. And the other reason I'm showing you this outfit is to show you that you can wear your favorite denim with lilac to have this super cozy and quiet color combination. I know many of you have denim jeans, denim jackets and, and shirts, and I know that you would love to combine them with colors. So consider combining denim, especially if it is light blue denim, with lilac colors. It will create a beautiful harmony. And I have decided to take a darker blue back as an accessory to create a three-dimensional look. So we have a high key, everything is pastel here, picture with one just a little drop of darker colors. I hope I have inspired you to look at your denim jacket, to look at your jeans, grab your jeans and create something similar. Outfit formula number three using only low key colors. We know that high key is combining lighter colors and low key is combining only darker hues of analogous colors. Low key color spans the range from mid-tones to dark tones. This allows us to create a classic, quiet, sophisticated, chic outfit as uh, if the style whispers, not yells at you. My outfit is showing you an analogous color combination of blue and green using black accessories. This is something that we call low-key analogous color combination. Outfit formula number four and a very important rule to follow. Think about proportions. Choose one color to dominate and second color to support. This creates a nice balance. Two colors are not competing to each other. They are balanced. We have one leader and a second supportive color. And if you are a beginner, make sure to use as many neutral colors as you want. For example, I'm showing you my outfit where you can see a lot of black pieces. And that is something for you and advice to follow if you're just a beginner and you're afraid to look too vibrant, too saturated. Just start with the basic black underlayer, for example, and have a few drops, one bigger drop of one color and the second smaller drop of analogous color. Outfit formula number five, and there's a small styling hack for you. So if you're thinking about more formal styling, Think about two analogous colors, but in a different tones. So what you want to do is choose one color in a darker hue, darker shade, and second color in a pastel, whiter tint. That creates a tonal contrasting, which is a very good tool for example, an office wear or formal outfits because the color scheme doesn't look like a color combination at all. When we pair super light and super dark colors, they tend to look like a black and white mix, very neutral with no vibrant colors, perfect for an office wear styling. This is my outfit with a navy blue business suit and a baby lilac polo short. I will link all the pieces down below in the description box because I have used many pieces from my wardrobe, many of them just bought a few weeks ago. So I will link all the pieces down below in the description box and I will leave all the needed information to shop my links. Outfit formula number six. And here I just wanted to show you the maximum capability of analogous color combination because I want you to be inspired by the maximum capability of analogous color combinations. So I'm starting with the basic light blue pants. Then I add more saturated blue color sweaters. So we already have a tonal contrast, light blue, light blue, and darker blue sweater. And I add green saturated color coat 
because blue and green, we know that this is an analogous color combination. White neutral loafers, black bag and voila! This is how the maximum of analogous color combination looks like. And uh, frankly speaking, this is my favorite outfit in this video because my passion is about colors. I, I, I've been loving color, I don't know, all my life. Since I was a teenager, I started to combine, to play with colors. And that's why I feel so confident wearing those crazy, somebody would say, yelling style, but this is how I feel my personal style. I'm always all around coloring. And that's it for today. I do really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, and see you in the next one. If we take your phone.